There are so many times um, we'll hear of some outrageous case in the news that g grabs the headlines. You know, we, we hear about Malala being uh, shot or uh, some really brutal rape case in India, or more recently, the uh, religiously approved rape practices of ISIS fighters. But there are tens and tens of millions of women and girls who don't make any headlines and, and, and suffer in, in silence and, and basically live lives that are not very, very much different than being a slave. And, you know, I really wanted to give voice to these women so they don't have to suffer in silence anymore. The voice can be heard. And it's also important to realize that th these are the women that actually have the potential to really transform our world and change our world for the better. A lot of people have said, my, my book is very timely. And my response is that it's timely, but unfortunately it's gonna be timely for a, a very, very long time. How do you break through and how do you move this issue forward? Th there are so many uh, reports you can read about the statistics of uh, the brutality that women and girls face and the maternal mortality, but people don't relate to statistics, you know. I really do portraits so the, the viewer can get a sense that we're, we're dealing with real people and that each one of these women and girls, they're individuals, you know, they're, they're, they have dignity and each and every one of them is doing the very, very best that they can under the circumstances that they find themselves. I would really like to focus the conversation on how the photography and the visual arts can be used to improve the situation. I'm also accompanied by uh, Masumbi Konyuro of the Global Fund for Women and uh, Denise Dunning of Let Girls Lead. So you're going to get my perspective uh, as a photographer or documentarian being in the field and also the perspective of women who are doing really really very noble work 